So a couple of days ago, Dr. McDougall posted a video on his YouTube channel in which he basically urged people to stop eating nuts and seeds, uh, to lose weight, and I guess also to cure their acne, uh, going by the title of the video, even though he doesn't really talk about acne specifically in the video, but I guess this is what he meant. And since I actually used to follow the McDougall diet for quite a while and I actively promoted it and I used to follow it actually mainly to cure my acne, um, I thought this would be an interesting topic to talk about because this is actually the very reason why I started to question his diet and lifestyle advice and why I no longer follow a McDougall diet because nope, it didn't cure my acne. So if you don't know who Dr. John McDougall is, he is basically a kind of GP or family doctor. So he's not a nutritional epidemiologist. He's not a scientific researcher into nutrition and diet and links with health who for well the past 40 years i would say has specialized in uh, a very specific type of diet that he advocates the mcdougall diet or then later it got branded the starch solution which basically is a type of uh, vegan diet essentially uh, that also excludes well basically all kinds of processed products uh, except for maybe some bread or pasta occasionally or sprinkling some sugar on your oatmeal um, and most crucially it excludes any kind of oils so olive oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, what have you. He's also known for making quite broad, quite pompous claims, um, which, well, sometimes do not really have good or any scientific evidence to them. Uh, Our natural vegan has made a lot of videos about them, including that oil is actually not as bad for your body and your heart as uh, he wants to have you believe. But then again, he's not a nutritional researcher. Um, so you might also doubt, you know, whether he is actually competent in um, evaluating all the scientific evidence. A lot of the advice that he gives is also just based on things that he has seen in his patients. So, you know, that is not science. Those are, I don't know, I wouldn't even call them studies. Those are anecdotes. So Dr. McDougall is known for basically claiming that his diet can cure almost anything, um, all kinds of uh, diseases that he deems to be a consequence of uh, the Western diet, the standard American diet in particular, and acne being one of those things. On his website, he makes some very strong claims that uh, acne is a result of the Western diet and can be reversed, so cured by following a plant-based diet or, well, his diet, his whole foods, plant-based, no oil, starch solution diet. He shares his wisdom in uh, YouTube videos, in books, and also more traditionally in a lot of newsletters that he's been writing forever. And there was one newsletter from 2003 uh, with respect to acne, which I think is quite interesting in that respect. So it reads, everybody knows that acne is related to surging hormones during adolescence, but to blame acne on puberty is like blaming heart disease on old age. People get more heart disease as they get older, but only when they eat the wrong diet. Heart disease does not exist where people eat healthy, such as in rural Africa and Asia. Heart disease is also cured when sick people change to a healthy diet. Same story with acne. So here he makes the direct claim that through a change in your diet, a dietary intervention, you can cure acne. Now enter my favorite dermatologist, Dr. Dre, who actually has a PhD. And this is what she has to say about what the literature says, what the scientific evidence says about changing your diet and curing acne. So I wanna make it clear that all the available data that we have at this point does not suggest in any way, shape or form that a food or an ingredient or a nutrient or a diet causes acne. Merely certain things can exacerbate acne in people who already have it. So what this means is that this first point is just flat out wrong. Um, there are basically no studies that have directly examined if a dietary intervention in people who already have acne reduces their acne to such an extent that you would consider these people cured. There are some studies that suggest that certain foods exacerbate acne in patients who already have acne. But then of course, this does not equate to, you know, you removing these foods from your diet and acne being magically cured. When we look at something as complicated as the link between different foods and acne, it is usually best to look at so-called meta-analyses rather than single studies. A meta-analysis is basically a study summarizing 
all the evidence, so all the studies that have been done on a certain topic and actually tries to tease out if there's an effect between, for example, eating nuts and seeds and acne. This is exactly why such meta-analyses hold more weight um, in, for example, decision-making about what kind of treatments to give to patients than singular studies, because they give us a broader overview about, you know, what we know about a topic, what is actually going on. And we all know that, um, you know, no one study is perfect. And with meta-analyses, you can kind of get a more global and maybe more close to the truth assessment of, you know, if there is an effect of, for example, eating nuts and seeds on acne. Google does list some studies on both this side as well as a different website, which has its, has its own issues, which I'm going to go into in a sec with the most recent study that he lists being from 2003. This is, of course, uh, almost 20 years ago. The research has progressed quite a bit and through different meta-analyses that have been done on different, you know, food ingredients that could be linked to making acne worse in patients who already have acne. You know, again, not curing people's acne because this has actually not been researched and it's also a lot more difficult to research. Uh, we know that there is basically two um, food categories that have quite robust evidence that uh, they are linked to worsening of acne. Uh, the first one being high glycemic foods. So, you know, white bread, pasta, white pasta, sugar, stuff like that. And the second category being milk. And then especially, you know, whole milk, skim milk, interestingly enough, apparently not yogurt and not cheese. The evidence of oil consumption um, on acne is very weak. Even if there is such an association, this does not mean that giving up oil will cure acne. This is not what these studies research. So there is just no evidence on that. Same story with nuts and seeds, by the way. But still, Dr. McDougall makes a very strong recommendation that you should follow his diet, follow a plant-based diet that is very low fat, that has no added oils to cure acne. For example, on this other website, which I just mentioned, he says, follow a very low fat diet, keep your skin free of dirt, oils, and oil-based cosmetics. Wash several times a day with a mild soap and a buff pad, which is a form of physical exfoliation, which is very irritating. So don't do that if you have acne. A person with acne must be very strict for at least a month before evaluating the effects of the diet. Don't cheat. Now, what does the literature say about how long it would take to see an effect of a dietary intervention if, in your acne if you already have acne? What does Dr. Dre say? The key is you have to stick it out for at least 12 weeks too uh, to see to see results. So don't expect to change your diet for a few weeks and then your acne to go away. Uh, nothing works that quickly. So again, you know, it's not just a month. Um, it's more like three months. Even though in going back to the newsletter, he also confusingly enough states that it supposedly only takes five to seven days before you're seeing an effect um, and like a single cheat meal can just, you know, wreck your whole process. What I also kind of take an issue with is his recommendation here. He says that if you have taken full advantage of the new diet for at least two months and your problem persists, then consider lotions, gels and creams in parentheses benzoyl peroxide, retin-A, tetracyclines, and other antibiotics. So in the whole McDougall community, if you can call it like that, there's very much uh, this mantra that if your health problems persist, you're probably cheating on the diet. It couldn't possibly be that the diet doesn't actually um, live up to its claims. It's probably, you know, you are eating too many nuts and seeds, or you're eating too much bread, or you're eating too much pasta, um, which is then causing all of your problems. And I think this is very dangerous thinking. You see that these lotions, creams and gels, which he almost portrays as like a second line treatment, um, such as benzoyl peroxide or Retin-A, which is tretinoin, or topical and oral uh, antibiotics. Um, these are actually FDA approved for treating acne because they have a lot of evidence to them that they are very effective in, uh, in treating acne. His diet has no scientific evidence to it vis-a-vis -vis treating acne and also vis-a-vis -vis, uh, treating a lot of other things. So I think to tell people they should try diet first and then actual medication that has, you know, a long history of usage behind it, that has a lot of studies backing up its efficacy, it's very dangerous and misleading, and I definitely got caught in that trap. I tried for years to fix my acne through diet because you're, you know, when you're in this 
community, you're very much deluded into thinking that this is the perfect diet that just works unequivocally for everyone. It will cure, you know, all of the problems that you have. Um, and then they always show Nina and Randa who just managed to uh, cure their acne through going on a McDougal diet. And, you know, that is a, an uncontrolled study with a sample size of two girls. Doesn't really tell you a lot. And that is quite dangerous. And for me, it really did not work. No matter what I did, uh, how little fat I ate, how miserable this whole thing was making me at some point, my acne did not go away. What did cure my acne was Accutane. And I really want to implore you to seek medical help first, seek actual treatments that are known to reduce acne, if you want to try to reduce your acne through diet, um, sure, go ahead, but I would use it as something you do in addition to actually going through, you know, medical treatment that which can be as simple as putting on a benzoyl peroxide gel every day. But don't use diet as a first line treatment because it might just lead to you suffering with acne for longer. And acne is not just a, you know, cosmetic condition that makes your skin look kind of weird and kind of red. If you have acne, you know what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's embarrassing. It can be very painful. It leaves behind scars, which are difficult, sometimes even impossible to get rid of in the end. And if you try to seek unproven treatments such as diet uh, for treating your acne, you might just accumulate more scars, more misery until you actually go, you know, and do something proper about it. Go to a dermatologist or go to, you know, to just your GP or your family doctor and get prescribed something that has evidence to it when it comes to curing acne. So to make a long story short, Dr. McDougall's statements that oils and nuts and seeds are to blame for acne and that going on a diet that is devoid of nuts and seeds and oils will cure acne is not based on scientific evidence. The scientific evidence uh, about diet is strongest when it comes to uh, milk products, well, milk in particular, and foods with a high glycemic load, not oil, not nuts and seeds, not olives. Diet is not a form of treatment for acne, but something like benzoyl peroxide or tretinoin or Accutane is. And Dr. McDougall is not the most reliable or trustworthy source when it comes to various different claims and various different diet advices. His diet is unnecessarily restrictive, may lead to vitamin and mineral deficiencies. It might just make you completely miserable. Check out Unnatural Vegans videos about that. So thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you're interested in, well, stuff related to diet and veganism and my life with my husband. And I'll see you in another video very soon.